Okay, today I'm going to be testing if electronics work in pure water. So pure water by itself is actually very insulative. It doesn't conduct electricity at all. Even when you just have tap water, it's not very conductive either. For example, if I just have this simple circuit here, so this is just an LED light connected to some batteries, if I put it in some tap water, it stays on, it's fine. It doesn't really matter whether it's in water or not, because the water is less conductive than the metal circuit it's going through, and so it doesn't really change anything. Okay, so first what I have here is regular tap water. So let's test how resistive the tap water is. Okay, so about four or five inches apart, we have 0.4 mega ohms. Okay, so what I have here is type two deionized water. So this is water that has no ions in it. Okay, now I have my deionized water, so it should be a much higher resistance. Oh, I can't even read it. Hmm. So that's a lot more resistive. This is greater than, I don't even know what it can read, but it's essentially no different whether it's in the air or in the water. So no electricity can pass through here. So this DI water has a very high resistance, higher than I can even read on my ohm meter here. But the problem with DI water is that stuff can dissolve into water. So for example, if I just stick my hands in this for a little bit, see if it changes the resistance. Wow, that made a big difference. So just by putting my hand in it, it dropped by around a mega ohm. I leave it soaking in there. See how it just goes down. So this happens because my hand has pores on it and the pores release sweat. And so that sweat comes out and mixes with the water and puts ions in the water. So that makes it conductive again. So when we try to put something in the water, most likely it's going to release its own ions and make the water conductive around it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doubting this will work. When we put an electronic in the water, it will make the water conductive itself and then it will short it out. Okay, so here goes a charging phone in pure water. So this water should not be conductive, so it shouldn't matter whether the phone is in the water or not. So I have it charging, so you can see it's working. Let's go to my hydraulic press channel. How about, let's be watching some Skittles. Okay, let's see if this keeps playing. Okay, so it's under the water, still charging. You can see the little icon there, still charging. Let's see how long it can stay on here. Wow, this is pretty amazing. So the pure water doesn't affect it at all. So I have gloves on so I don't dissolve some of my, on, some of my ions into the water. even play a video here. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so this is not a waterproof phone. This is just a normal cheap Samsung phone. Looks like you can put it in pure water and it continues to play. Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. This video is pretty cool if you haven't seen it yet. Helium balloons sink in the vacuum chamber. So look at this non-waterproof phone working fine in water. 
So normally when we think of electronics getting ruined in water, we're thinking of water that has ions in them or just have other stuff dissolved into it. That kind of water is conductive because the ions are what transfer the charge in the water. But pure water by itself isn't conductive at all. So it doesn't ruin electronics. Electronics are just fine in it. After a while though, some of the ions will dissolve out of the metals into the water and any other parts that are in there. So after a while, the water can become conductive, but it's been about four or five minutes now and this phone is still just fine in here. This is an underwater Skittles waterfall underwater on a phone. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm pretty amazed. I thought this would shut off after a while because I thought eventually whatever materials were in the phone would start to dissolve into the water, but it looks like it's just fine. So it's been about five minutes and it's just fine. Let's go back. So I can almost work on the phone as if it's no different whether it's in the water or not. So it's been about seven minutes underwater. It's saying something there. The battery icon is red for some reason. But other than that, it looks like it's still working fine. The speakers don't work because underwater the speaker cones can't vibrate, but it looks like everything else is working fine on it. So I'm leaving it plugged in so you know that the circuitry is not closed off to anything. The wires are essentially bare here and it's still working. Well, there you have it. I'm a little bit surprised. I thought that this might not work. According to my physics knowledge, I knew it should work, but I didn't know how well the DI water would stay DI water, deionized water. And it looks like it stays deionized really well, keeps the water really resistant, and electronics work just fine in pure water. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you liked it. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.